Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at transparent backgrounds or transparent gradients that you can create in Canva. It's a great question that somebody asked me the other day, which was how you can go from one color to a transparent background or to transparency so you can show what's beneath. It's really good when you kind of want to add text to the side of a document, but we'll come on to that later. So first of all, let's dive into Canva and show you where this setting is. So I've got my document. This is a thumbnail document you'll see here. This is the thumbnail that I've used for this video, transparent gradients in Canva. So I'm going to show you how I created this. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add the picture. So we'll come on, we'll add the picture. Actually, the picture that I'm going to use is one that I took. And we're just going to put this on here, size it, and move it over to the edge a little bit. And then to get the transparent background, what you're going to do is you're going to come into elements. When you come into elements, you can see I've been using it recently. But if you come into elements, you've got an area here called gradients. Now, mine shows up at the top here. When you first go onto this, it might be down the bottom, but this just scrolling down and give you an idea of some of the gradients that you can do. Um, but the one that you're looking for is this purple square that fades to what looks like black. Um, but it's not actually black, it's actually fading to what's beneath. Now, if I just put that over my image, then you can see. And that's pretty much how this works. Now, when you resize it, and say so we're going to recreate the element below. Uh, when you resize the image, you want it to just come to the edge of your photograph. If you don't come to the edge of your photograph, it's going to look strange. Um, so you kind of frame up your photograph first where you want it and then change the size. Now, what you want to do in this area here, um, you could, if you wanted to, copy and paste and spin this round. So if you want the gradient going in a different direction, you can do. So I could have that going off that way. You see that there's actually a little bit of a line down the middle here. All you have to do on that one is highlight one of them and use the arrow keys to go left or right, and then that line disappears. But I don't want to fade to another gradient, and I actually don't want purple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the first gradient, and I'm gonna choose my color for, that I use for my thumbnails. And if you've not seen my tutorial on thumbnails, I'll put a link in the description and also up here. I've got a playlist of quite a few Canva tutorials. So if learning Canva is something that you're into, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below and follow along and I'll teach you um, a lot about Canva. Back in Canva, what we've done is we've added the photograph, we've added our gradient here. And what we want to do is we just come over to the elements again here and we can add the shape add the square onto the end and just position that. Obviously this isn't the right color. It's just the one that it's defaulted to. And there you go. That's how you create that gradient. And then all as I'm doing is I'm creating, hitting T on the keyboard to get my text up. Or you can obviously just come up to your text area here and add the text that you want. Um, and what I've done is I've then created transparent gradients. This is a separate column. And then this Canva is an element. And if you've not seen the elements on Canva, there's quite a lot of elements that you can do. These are the ones that are just Canva related that you can create or that you can add to your designs. But there's a lot and there's like animated stickers, but we're not getting into that in this, this video. So that's how I created the thumbnail for this video using a transparent gradient in Canva. The other thing that you might want to do is if you're using it to give a list of 10 things, whether you're using it for your blog, um, it's really handy to have kind of like more of a white text so that the text is more apparent on there. So just dive back into Canva and I'll show you what I mean. 
So what I've done is I've taken this picture of this person hiking. This is just a stock image from Canva. And then I've created a white gradient. So you can see here, I've just created the white gradient. And if I wanted to, I could choose that to a black gradient and then just add the elements over the end, which would be a black square. And then just change that to black. Now, obviously, oops, you see there, it's a little bit more apparent when there's a black um, or a dark color. You can see the, the line underneath. So you just highlight one of them and you just arrow key to the direction and then that disappears. And then what you want to do is if you highlight your text, you can change that then to a lighter color if you wanted to, whether you wanted that to be white or any color you want your text to be. Oops, clicking on the wrong thing there. There we go. And that's that's how you can do that. And it fits, you can use it and change it to fit in with whatever it is that you want to do. As I say, this is a, I think this was a Facebook post, um, whereas this one was a the thumbnail uh, for this video. So that's it for today's video. If you've got any questions about Canva, please leave them down in the comments below. If you really like this tutorial, don't forget to click like, click subscribe because that helps me out a ton. And see you again soon. Bye for now.